Welcome to our training vi video on how to clear a plate served or buffet style meal. John Collette has graciously volunteered to be our server for this evening and please notice other than in still full uniform he has his bib up to protect his white shirt. He will first start clearing by observing the table to ensure that over 50% of the guests have indeed finished their meal not to rush them. If they have, he will approach the first guest and he will pick up their plate after asking them if they're complete. He will tuck it behind them. He will pick up one knife and one fork. And then if it's okay with the guest and there's nothing on the bread and butter plate, he will clear that plate as well. Moving on to the next guest to do the same thing. Picking up the plate first, asking the guest if it's okay, and then picking up one knife and one fork. Now notice on this one, John doesn't get the bread and butter plate because there's still a roll on there that the guest wanted to leave to eat with his dinner. Okay, would you, okay. And oh, okay. he again asked that person and they have told him no, that they're not completely done with their salad and they want to keep it through the dinner portion of their evening. Now John will proceed to clearing the dinner plates on this side of the room and You'll notice again there's, there's only one knife and one fork, so this time John will go to the first guest and ask them if it's okay if he picks it up and tucks it behind him and then grabs the knife and the fork. Now notice, he is leaving the napkin there for the cake service as well as that top fork. Can I take that from you, sir? Okay. He stacks the plate on top of the other one behind the guest and then he picks up the knife and fork. Now also notice he's giving adequate space to the guests not to intrude on their personal space and then not to have something that he accidentally drops in the guests because he's been over top of them. He's picking up the plate first, bringing it between the two guests, and then the knife and the fork. Thank you, John.